Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates. Today it's crock pot day and I am talking cube steak and gravy, country style. Oh my gosh, all these pantry ingredients, I shouldn't say all, there's not that many. We're gonna go into this crock pot with our cube steak, making a scrumptious meal today. Now, when you cook cube steaks and you want them very, very, very tender, the crock pot is the way to go. Now, I've done them before on the stovetop using a Dutch oven and that took hours, which is fine. I mean, if you wanna do that, that is totally fine. But with the heat outside right now, I don't wanna be heating up my house. So, right here, y'all, and you can make as much as you want in here and it's gonna make some delicious leftovers too. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna meet you over at the stove top because I want to sear my cube steaks first. Lock in some flavor, give it some color, and we're gonna sear it with some flour, which is going to help make the gravy. Okay, so the first step I'm gonna do is sear my, my cube steaks right here. Now I have a pack of four times two, and that's what they look like right here. So what I have is a tablespoon of butter that I'm gonna melt in my pan here. We're gonna use butter. Now, if you wanna use some cooking oil, you can do that also, about one tablespoon. So I have some flour here. What I'm gonna do is just season it up with about half a teaspoon of salt. half a teaspoon of some pepper. I've got some garlic powder here. I'm just gonna sprinkle some in. Do about a quarter of a teaspoon or a half a teaspoon, whatever your flavor level is. Got some onion powder, about the same amount. And then some paprika. Give it some color. There we go. Now what I'm gonna do is just take a fork and I'm gonna blend this together. Now you want your butter or your cooking oil to be nice and hot before we place our steaks in. So I'm just putting a little bit of flour in there and seeing what it's doing. Okay, can you hear that sizzle? Okay, I wanna make sure that my pan is well coated. Okay, so I'm gonna take one of the cube steaks I'm going to lay it in the flour, pressing down. I'm gonna turn it over and do the same thing. Just kind of press it down into the flour mixture. Now this flour is gonna help thicken our gravy that's gonna be cooked into the crock pot there. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of dust off any excess flour. Place it in my pan. Now let it sit there for about three to four minutes to get a nice sear on it. Now, if you don't want to sear your meat, you don't have to. You can place it right into the crock pot, but when you sear it, you lock in some delicious flavor and also gives it a nice color. I'm gonna be doing these in batches. These are going to sit in the pan for about three minutes. I'm going to flip them over after they have a nice color on the back sides of these and then put the other side for about three minutes and then that will complete these. Okay, now let's go ahead and make the gravy for our cube steaks. I'm going to add 14 ounces of diced tomatoes from a can one cup of water, one cup of beef broth. Now we're gonna add one envelope of some beefy onion soup mix. About half a teaspoon of some black pepper. One quarter teaspoon of salt. some paprika, about quarter to half a teaspoon. And we're gonna add some garlic powder. 
about a quarter of a teaspoon. Okay, now I've got two onions that I have chopped up here. Now I like to chop them big when I'm cooking them in a crock pot because they do tend to melt. And so I want to at least have the shape of the onions in there. I don't want to lose them. Okay, let's go ahead and give this a mix. Okay, after we mix this all together, I'm gonna go in with a spoon and see if I need to add any more flavoring. Oh my goodness, that is so delicious. Let's go ahead now and bring our cube steaks that we've seared up and go ahead and place them in here. Then don't forget all those delicious juices. <laughs> all right, we're gonna go ahead now and place our lid on the crock pot. Now I'm gonna cook this on low for six to seven hours or on high for about three and a half to four hours. You want these cube steaks to be a very fork tender. All right, y'all, come back and let's take a look at our next step. Okay, take a look at this. All those onions, that thick gravy. So what I did was I came back in right before this was done and I just made a little slurry with some of the juice that was in here and I mixed it with some cornstarch and then just drizzled it back in here and mixed it up. Look at that. Okay guys, these are so tender. Can y'all see that? I'm going the wrong way. Right there. Mmm. Ready for a bite? Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. That gravy is so delicious. And it cooked low and slow into those cube steaks. Oh my gosh, you guys. Make this one. And I paired that with my corn casserole, which you will see. I will link it down below in the description box or it will go out the next day. So wait for that one. Okay, guys, mm, I'm ready to just take this plate and go. Give me a thumbs up if you are new. <laughs> if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I will see you on the next episode.